Hi, I'm fake news anchor and real-life problem child Austin Zessen. And welcome to Next Week Now, where you just don't get it, Dad. <laughs> now, I know it sounds crazy, but predicting the news can be wrong. <laughs> and sometimes we just get a bad patch of peyote when we go on our vision quests. <laughs> but that's why I'm let out of the cage every week so I can fill you in on what else happened in the world and giving us arbitrary points, because it's the only way I can still feel alive. If you've been keeping track at home, our current total is 103,572 points. And with that, let's begin with what we missed. This week, two men who looked like perverts turned out to be perverts. I don't know. That's it. I mean, that, that's, uh, that's the joke. <laughs> like, like, let's be honest. Based on how these guys look, you should be putting two and two together. Speaking of, two and two equals 22, so we get 22 points. Syria signs the Paris Climate Agreement this week, making the United States the only country to not sign it. And I mean, why would we sign it? Syria signed it. We don't want to get involved with Syria. I mean, last time we got involved with the Middle East. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure we're still there. OK, look, it, it, it's just not good. Look, OK, I know that a country going through a civil war can at least promise less carbon emissions for a cleaner world. But we got a lot in our plate right now. And it's just, it's just not my thing. You know, it's just, I'm just going to be late you guys. So, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, 195 points, or the number of countries that have signed the agreement. <laughs> After his recent trip to Africa, Energy Secretary Rick Perry linked increased fossil fuel usage to preventing sexual assault. I guess he also thinks gas stoves stop serial killers and indoor plumbing prevents cancer. Danica Roman from Virginia becomes the first transgender person elected to the House of Representatives. She even beat out the incumbent, Bob Marshall, by 10 points. If you don't remember who he is, then congrats, your idiots don't care which bathroom you use. Although Rome would very much ride Marshall's pompous ass all the way to Valhalla, she took a classier route by simply saying, I don't attack my constituents, Bob is my constituent now. Burn! <laughs> Sick burn! Oh man, that was so good! Oh, yeah. She won with 54 points in the poll, so we get 54 points on our end. Congrats to Danica. Yeah. <laughs> U.S. passports for child sex offenders will now be reissued, marking their previous crimes. In unrelated news, Woody Allen needs a new passport. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Comcast asks the FCC to prohibit states from enforcing net neutrality. The story comes from corporate sellout Ajit Pai striking down necessary FCC internet regulations. And Comcast worries about the state's rights to reinstate those laws. Now, I know states' rights sound scary for most of you because you're sensible, but this isn't like, <laughs> this isn't like Civil War states' rights, <coughs> slavery, but like states' rights that protect your pornography. Huh, look at that. I guess my dad and I can't agree on something. <laughs> 69 points. <laughs> A psychologist in Great Britain says that listening to Christmas music too early can harm your mental health. Apparently, listening to it too often will constantly remind you of the stressful obligations that come with the season, of buying presents, organizing travel, explaining to your relatives what a film degree is. <laughs> the people most in danger is retail workers, apparently, because of the loud and repetitive playlists in the stores. Oh man, as if not graduating high school is bad enough. 46 points. Or how many days until Christmas? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's good humor. It's, it's real nail biting. <laughs> Barack Obama showed up to jury duty this week for the first time in eight years. You know, now that he's not president. OK, buddy, Mr. I'm too busy running the free world to do civil service. Oh, oh, OK, I can't be on this jury. I have drones to fly. You know, whatever. The former president wasn't selected for a jury, obviously and went home with the $17.20 that all potential jurors received. 1,720 points, because I want my tax dollars back. <laughs> we end tonight with 105,678 points. But before I go, from everyone here at Next Week Now on TSTV, we send our thoughts and prayers to the victims and families in Sutherland Springs. My name is Austin Zessen, and this has been What We Missed.